Recently, a strange phenomenon has been occurring throughout different levels of the backrooms. One that's taken everybody by surprise, and we don't really know why it's happening. But what we do know is that you should never, ever approach any crack or crevice that you see forming inside of a backrooms level. And in this video, I will be explaining why. If you like this type of video and you want more, just comment below what I should do. Do not leave a like yet. Wait till the end of the video and then you can see if you actually enjoyed it and then you can leave a like. But without further ado, let's get into what in the world's happening in the back rooms right now. As you saw in the thumbnail and the title and the intro, these mysterious rifts or cracks have been popping up in various locations of the back rooms. These are a part of an umbrella of effects and events known as void objects. Now these void objects are very strange happenings that tie to the void level, which of course is the space between back rooms levels. It's very dangerous, very bad place to go. I've made a bunch of videos about it, but there are several of these so-called void objects that exists and they'll probably get their own video eventually but today we're going to be going over void object number 003 the crack ha 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 the crack has been given a classification and a safety rating of undefined because it has random locations where it appears it has unknown properties and it really has a bizarre presence around it there's also entities that lurk beyond the crack that we don't really know about at all just know that it's very dangerous to interact with and it's very dangerous to even glance at. It is said that the crack is the most mysterious and enigmatic and strange void object that has been discovered thus far. Because of that, there really isn't much information I can tell you about it. But whatever I can tell you, I'll get into right now. Instead of taking the form of a level or a sublevel or another accessible location, the crack behaves as some sort of a gateway, and it takes the appearance of what we would call a crack. These these things defy all laws of physics because it can take on an infinite amount of forms and shapes and sizes at any given time. It can grow larger or smaller, it can grow wider or thinner, and it can appear on any surface, even ones that can't crack. Now I'm sure you're wondering, brutally, why should we care about a crack on the backroom's walls? Like, what does that even mean? Why does it happen? Well, what sets Void Object 3 apart from a normal crack is this glow that comes from behind it. This white, ethereal, mesmerizing glow is the first thing you'll notice about it. And when you do notice it, you will really want to approach it. Your body will try to go towards it and look at it. It kind of lures you in. It's like a bug flying to a light when it's dark outside. However, you should never attempt to look at this rift, stare at it, approach it, and interact with it, anything like that. Because if you do, several bad things will occur instantly. Staring at the crack or any instance of the crack will lead to complete blindness in your eyes and you'll be able to see nothing at all, just pitch black. Sunglasses and other sorts of eye protection kind of work, but they don't really work. You can still get mild eye damage from staring at the bright glow, even with sunglasses on. The problem with the rift opening up is that its location, its movement, none of that can be tracked. So it could happen on any level where anybody is. It could happen on levels where there's tons of people or it could happen on empty abandoned levels. And because of this, it makes it like a wild card. You just can't guess where it's going. Since all that can be seen beyond the crack is this bright, ethereal white glow and this crack shape itself, nothing can really be studied about it. I mean, it's kind of hard to research something that you can't even look into at all with your eyes. But despite this, a few tests and adventures have been conducted to try to explore what is beyond the crack and what it means. But more on that in a second. What is actually causing this crack to occur is unknown because last time I checked rifts in time and space don't just start on their own so let's hop into some theories about why the crack is occurring and what it might mean for the back rooms going forward some people think that a known powerful entity known as the great wall of redacted might have crawled out of this crack and this crack somehow created this godlike entity the creature itself might get an entire video eventually but just know that it is a large and powerful demigod sort of creature, and the entity itself shows heavy interest in the crack. It was interviewed one time, and it got really excited at the mention of the crack, which leads us to believe it might know more than it's letting on. Theory 2 states that the crack is somehow the power source for the entity or for the backrooms itself, and that this power source has gotten 
more and more large and powerful and has grown to the point where it's ripped the seams of time and space and it can't be contained anymore and it's began to break through walls of the back rooms. Think of a nuclear reactor at its melting point. And the final theory that some say is that this void object is the barrier between the back rooms and reality. And that if someone was able to get through the crack into that white void and pierce the barrier, they would end up in reality. They could escape and be back in the front rooms. However, as you all know, the back rooms is full of fake exits and false leads, so that might be what this is. There's a lot of places that claim to be an exit where an exit has never been found, so who knows if that's what the crack is or not. As I briefly talked about earlier, there has been explorations and expeditions to try to get into the crack, to see what it's about, to see what's behind it, and the following quote from a test subject pretty much sums up all you need to know about this crack and what's behind Behind it. But to be honest, it just leaves more questions than answers. Quote, Being one of the test subjects responsible for exploring Void Object 3 is not a pleasant experience. We all knew that one mistake, one slip up, and all of our lives would be at stake. Even though I was cautious, I was the first one to stare into the depths of the glowing crack. That I instantly regret. There was a flash of light, and then complete darkness. I was completely blind forever. Even though it was just for a millisecond, I had made a discovery. I had seen something when the flash occurred, something beyond the crack. I think it was a person." End quote. So this subject, whoever it was, we don't have a name for them, entered the crack and crawled through it, and they saw this instant flash of blinding light, which that happens when you stare at it. But right before their eyes went dark, right before it all went to crap, they saw something off in the distance in the void who they thought it was a person, which is a very interesting thing to possibly see. You, you can't really mistake something being a person. You know, they have very human-like shape. It's definitely a person, so who knows? So as we found out in this video, this, this crack, this mysterious void object has been popping up in various levels of the back rooms. And so far, it has been kept a secret from the public. Until now. Sorry. And every test that's been done so far has not come up with any answers or any clues besides the one I just read where that mysterious person saw a person in the white void. So let me know what you think this crack is. Is it an exit? It? Is it a power source that the back rooms runs off of? Is it the home of a strange entity? Let me know in the comments below what you think it is. Personally, I like the power source theory, but I also have my own theory that's not listed as to what it might be and symbolize. What if the crack appears to those people in the back rooms who are about to unalive and despawn? And the white blinding light behind the crack is whatever the afterlife is. Heaven, Nirvana, Purgatory, whatever you think. What if that is what is beyond the crack, and the people who have had it appear to them have been marked? so to say, for despawning, almost like a bad omen. So if you see the crack, you know that your life is almost over. No matter how hard you try to look away, no matter how hard you avoid approaching it, it will eventually consume your thoughts and you have to look at the crack. It draws you in. And that's exactly how the concept of unaliving in real life works. You can try to hide from it, try to run from it, but it'll always find you eventually. I kind of sounded like Thanos there, Loki, my Ben. So that's my theory on the crack. I think it's some kind of bad omen that lures people who have been marked for being not alive as a sort of punishment, or maybe that's just how the back rooms ends people, I don't know. But if you did enjoy that theory and you did enjoy this video, leave a like if you actually enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it. I make these videos two to three times a week, so if you want more from me, just subscribe with the notifications on. I also have two other channels where I upload, Spoogly and Toogly, again, more of me over there. Also, my Instagram and Twitter are below if you want to check me out on there as well. I have a ton of stuff that's coming out soon. Thank you all so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video. Without further ado, I'll end it off here. Bye-bye.